Because Jesus died on the cross and was resurrected from the dead, we who believe in him will inherit eternal life. What is this Bible trying to say to us? Apparently, he's advocating for God. <laughs> Just listen to him. Give him a chance to speak. Paul, I'm, I'm a Dionysius of the Areopagus. And I'm very, uh, please, I, I want you to tell us more about this, uh, uh, these new teachings that you're bringing to us. They're strange ideas to us, and we want to we learn what they mean. Very well then, I shall proceed. Men of Athens, as I walked around your city and looked carefully at your objects of worship, I saw that in every way you were very religious. During one of my walks, I saw an altar with the inscription, to an unknown God. What therefore you worship as unknown, I shall proclaim to you. What? Does he think he has some kind of special knowledge? Apparently he does. <laughs> Just be quiet, you might learn something. The God who made the world and everything in it is the Lord of heaven and earth. He's not served by human hands, nor does he live in temples built by man, as if he needed anything from us. For he himself gives all men life and breath and everything that they need. From one man he made every nation of the earth, that they should inhabit the entire earth, and he determined the time set for them and the exact places where they would live. Why, why would your God do this? Good question, Dionysius. God did this so that men would seek him and perhaps reach out for him and find him, though he is not far from each of us. For in him we live and move and have our being. As some of your own poets have said, we are his offspring. His offspring? Yes. Therefore, since we are God's offspring, we should not think the divine being is like gold, or silver, or stone. In the past, God overlooked such things. But in, the, in these days, he has appointed a man who will judge the world. And that man, he has proven to be the one who will judge the world by raising him from the dead. Again, he preaches about the resurrection of the dead. Foolishness. I agree with you there, yet I am curious. I think I would like to hear Paul again on this subject. Thank you, Paul. Uh, I, I, I want to learn more about this Christ and, and how I can repent and, and be saved. God bless you, Dionysius. Let's walk and we will talk some more. Yeah. That's a result of Paul's preaching. Dionysius, a member of the Areopagus, became a believer. Asked a woman named Demarius.